dear future husband, as we have been preparing for this day, I have been full of so many emotions, excitement, anticipation, fear, anxiety, love, laughter, stress, feeling like we would run out of time, busyness, but, for, but through it all, the one thing I felt the most is peace. The night after the bridal shower, I told you I never thought I would feel like this. I honestly meant it. Babe, it's here. We're getting married today. As I think about you reading this letter, I can't help but think about all that's happening around you right now. You putting the finishing touches on your preparations, your friends having fun with you, laughing, making you feel like the angel you deserve to feel like on this wonderful day. A hard day, babe. And then comes the dress. That gorgeous wedding dress that makes you feel as special and revered as I see you through my eyes every single day. I have enjoyed every second of this process with you. From meeting on the flag football field to running into each other two other times before really connecting and having our first five-hour conversation. And that was only the beginning. I love you so much. So much more than I can express. And I'm so happy that you picked me to spend the rest of your life with. You gave me the opportunity to try and make you feel like the most incredible woman in the world. Because, baby, that's what you are to me. Happy wedding day, honey. I can't, can't wait to see you soon. With all of my heart, mind, and soul, your Juju Bear, your Julian, your partner, your love. In a world and life that will be so full of the craziness that comes with relationships, family, work, and drama, I know I have the most loving, caring, genuinely wonderful, patient man in my corner. You look so pretty. Hi. You look so beautiful. Yeah, you too. I love you. God, we're so grateful to be here in this moment celebrating this amazing couple. God, we thank you so much for bringing Jules and Stephanie together. God, we believe that you have such amazing plans for their lives, God, and we are just so honored to be a part of this amazing day to celebrate their love as they join together in the commitment of marriage. Jules, you're the love of my life and my best friend. I truly cannot believe how lucky I am to have found such a perfect match. You're the strongest, most patient, loving, selfless, bravest man I've ever met. And I cannot wait to see the amazing husband and father you will become. God loves marriage. He created it, he invented it. It's so near to his heart that he uses the example of a bride and a groom when referring to his relationship with us, his church. Stephanie, my beautiful, beautiful Stephanie. I love you so much. And I thank God so much that we're here right now. Can you believe it? We're at our wedding. We're getting married right now. This is incredible. As I think back on everything that brought us to this place, all the worries, all the stress, all the planning, I can't help but think that everything happened for a reason. God ordained every single step along the way. He brought you to me. God gave us marriage as a gift. James tells us that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And just like every gift that God gives us, there is work on our part in order for the gift to be everything that God intended for it to be. I promise to be patient and to continue to learn and grow with you as we navigate this crazy life together. I will respect you and put you first each day and to treat your hopes and dreams as my own. Today I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your strengths and faults as you do mine. You are an absolute answer to prayer. I've prayed for you for so long, honey. And there are so many times where I didn't know if God could hear me. I didn't know what his plan was. I promise to love you and cherish you with all that I am every day for the rest of our lives. You're my love, you're my friend, you're my partner. I promise I will always eat ice cream with you late at night, even when we shouldn't. <laughs> and I promise to try my best to make you happy every single day of our lives. I love you so much. Stephanie, 
Jules, by the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. It gives me great honor to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Julian Johnson. I wish you nothing but the best, nothing but happiness, joy, and love. I'm so excited to see where your love takes you, to see your love grow in Christ. Both of you are such amazing examples of what God can do through someone if you just let it happen. You two really do deserve each other. Stephen Jules, I wish you nothing for the best. I pray that the Lord continues to be with you both and bless you as you start this amazing journey called marriage. Uh, we will always be D-Block, and that will never change. I thank you being for an amazing friend. I love you, D-Block. Stephanie, I was just thinking about what are the things in her life that I think about the most, and it was when she was a, a little one, she didn't have a hair on her head when she was like two, she got all of that hair after that, and uh, what she didn't have in hair, she had in a smile, and she could light up the room with that smile whenever she came in, and her great-grandmother actually said one day she's going to grow into that smile, and I think she has. As last night I was listening to everyone talk about Jules, that this guy lights up the room with a smile too, so... One thing that they have in common, um, they both light up the room with a smile.